Hey girlies, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this Thanksgiving Makeup Tutorial 2020 with the Madison Beer Palette by Morphe. So I'm going to be starting off with a shade called Jericho. I believe that's how you pronounce it. If not, you can correct me. <laughs> but I'm going in with this fluffy brush and this is the Morphe M441 brush. And I'm going to be using this fluffy brush to apply this shade onto my crease. I did not set my concealer on my lid, so we're gonna go ahead and blend this carefully so that it doesn't get patchy because this is a cool tone color and these tend to get very patchy for some reason. I don't know, I don't really like cool tone colors, but this one caught my eye, especially mixing it with this next shade that we're gonna be going in with and this is called Zero. This is more of a brown undertone, which is my favorite browns. And this is the brush M573 by Morphe as well. And we're gonna use this second fluffy brush, but it's much smaller than the first one. And we're just gonna be using this to blend it right on top of the shame, the shade, the shame. <laughs> we're gonna be blending this on top of the shade Jericho all the way across our eye. It's okay if we go below our crease because we're gonna be adding a shimmery shade and this is gonna help it look smokier. So that's a good thing. So continue to blend this all over your lid and then we'll go on with the next step. So the next step would be to continue to blend ladies. Uh, this shade is very easy to blend. It's nice and soft. So if you guys want that smoky effect, you have to blend your ass off for a good while. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the shade C137, I believe. I can't really read this because I'm reading it off of a post on the internet because my dumbass kind of lost the little paper where it has all the names of the shades. Yes, it happens all the time. I hate it, that's what I hate about palettes. The brush that I'm using to apply this is the number 15 Pro Small Shadow Brush. This is from Sephora. And I'm using this tiny little brush just to get into that inner corner and only halfway. Halfway, you guys don't go all the way down to the outer corner just apply this on your lid halfway up to right there right there <laughs> and don't go any further than that because we're gonna be applying more brown okay so be careful with the shade you guys because it does have a lot of little shimmery glitter so it will go all over your face so just be careful <laughs> next I'm going back in with the shade zero and I'm only applying a small amount and I'm gonna be applying that on the outer corner just to put it on top of the glitter and it doesn't look like it's just on there. So now I'm using this eyeliner. This is gel. This is from Morphe as well. They sent it to me in a package. So I was super, super excited. That's something I haven't even mentioned to you guys. They started sending me packages already. So I'm so excited. If you guys ever buy any of their products, use my code GLAMFAM1208. That would help me so much. But anyways, <laughs> this is this small pencil. This is also from Morphe, you guys. And this is the M443. This is an eyeliner, pencil, brush, whatever. You guys, I love it. It's so, so good, so tiny, so skinny from the tip. And it will not mess up your eyeliner. Like, oh my God, look at that shit. It's so sharp. But yeah, so they sent me this. And you guys, I fell in love with the eyeliner and the eyeliner pencil. Or eyeliner brush, whatever. But yes, you guys, oh my god, this is a game changer. I recommend you guys get it. And if you do, don't forget to use my discount code. And these lashes, girl, oh god, these are from Minked Luxury Lashes. You can find them on Instagram. I will link down below. Um, I will link their page on Instagram because I don't think they have a website yet. But this is in the style goddess. Girl, these lashes are freaking bomb. They are a little bit more on the heavy side because they're so thick and full. But I personally don't really care on how thick the eyelashes are or how heavy they are. I really don't care um, as long as they look good, <laughs> you know? Um, beauty is pain. So yes, these eyelashes are really, really good. I'm using the dual glue to apply this. That's my absolutely favorite, favorite, favorite glue to use. And, and now I'm using that small pencil brush again with some of that gel eyeliner just to apply a little bit on my waterline. You guys, I'm telling you, this eyeliner or eyeliner brush is a game changer, like for me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the waterline and make sure you don't poke your eye when you're applying this onto your waterline, you guys, because that could be so, so painful. <laughs> it's happened to me a million times and it happens to anyone and everyone. So next, you guys, I'm gonna be going back in with the same brushes and the same shades. I'm using the shade Zero First. And I'm going to be applying this on my lower lash line 
because I honestly like to apply both eyeshadow on the top and on the bottom. A lot of people don't really like to do the bottom, but I kind of do. So I'm going to be applying this shade, and now I'm going in with the shade C137, I think it's called. And I'm going to buff that out on that lower lash line again. And next, I'm going in with my mascara. This is from Believe Beauty, and it is called Volume in Eyes Mascara. You guys, Believe Beauty is so freaking affordable. Like... I love this brand like they sent this over to me you guys and oh uh, I was so excited like when they finally sent me a package I was like oh my god they sent me like so many goodies it was so freaking awesome next I'm going in with the shade stained glass and I'm using the Sephora number 40 brush to apply this this is a very thin brush well pointy and I like this for this inner corner because it is just easier to apply and also you guys this shade just gives this look that extra pop so if you want to go that extra mile, you can apply this on your inner corner and on your brow bone just like I am doing. And it will look 100% bomb and better than without it, honestly. <laughs> but that's just your preference, whatever you prefer to do. But anyways, you guys, this brush is awesome for those small little areas that you're trying to get because glitter shadows go everywhere and this has loose glitter in it. But anyways, next I'm going in with the Morphe YOLO Lip Crayon. I have a bunch of these already that I purchased myself, you guys, and I love these lip crayons. You guys, I have these two other shades that I've been using on my Instagram makeup tutorials, and they look so good. You see, this one just got sent over to me this past week, and I fell in love with it. So yeah, ladies, this is the finishing look for this Thanksgiving makeup tutorial for 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have fun on Thanksgiving sitting in your living room because we can't go anywhere because you guys know the crazy shit that's going on. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe, click the like button and see you guys next time.